Game development days are weird days because you don't feel like you make that much progress. It's, it's very slow, um, but all the things behind the scenes are clicking. With app development, it's like, right, I've done five screens today. Game development, it's like, I've laid the framework for a future phase, if that makes any sense. This entire vlog is about BrewQuest, but um, at no point did I say that, so this entire vlog is about BrewQuest, okay. So we have an API, essentially. Um, everything works fully. So to save time, the way that I'm doing the world is actually using the old format from the original version. I'm also using the earliest version of the map, the very first version of the map, before a lot of the game design decisions that I made came into it. Um, and that's just to save time, honestly. Uh, my plan is to release more maps and also change this map and make it a bit more detailed and a bit less uh, kind of vague and all out there. Uh, but that will obviously take some time and th th this is very lean. This is just, let's release. Let's release as soon as possible. So to that end, it does support multiple zones, but when you request the data, it just gives you this mahusive, what, what would have been a text file downloaded from a server in an earlier version. This was the original BrawlQuest map. This was BrawlQuest, initially. It's small, but um, there are two raids, there are three dungeons, um, and a lot of villages and stuff. And there is also room for expansion. For example, down here, we've got all of this space, which I'll quickly expand out. Um, and it's all set up properly, so all the fights and everything are established. These values are basically the percentage chance of getting a fight on that tile. Um, all the collisions are done. The only other thing that's done is the login screen, which does work with the API. Ooh, with wonderful music by Jerry Pierce that's currently turned off. Um, so you can fill in these boxes. Uh, I need to remove the text there because that isn't true. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is what it's done. You can log in, you can walk around, it all pulls in the database. Music plays, but I've got it turned off at the moment. Uh, that's, that's it. You can see other players. Look at this user interface. Oh dear. I think I might have gotten a little bit ahead of myself with this um, releasing the BrawlQuest Alpha on Friday thing. But for real, I just want to get this done, so I'm still going to release it. Even though it's not finished in the slightest. But it's not even an alpha. It's, it's an unfinished game. It's an early version of the game. I'm releasing it. Because I want to get it released. I have to get it released. Right? So we have three weeks until it goes live on Steam. This alpha version goes up tonight. Tested over the weekend on Monday morning, I submit the build for review. This version of the game, whatever is under this version of the game. Steam Valve review that, approve it, fingers crossed, and then it goes live on November 1st. I believe in between that period, I can release updated versions without Valve having to review it. So hopefully, in three weeks' time, when the game actually goes live, it's a lot more complete than it is right now. But if not, the MVP is there, okay? It's early access, it's lean, it's... <sighs> I'm freaking out a little bit. So still enough to do today are uh, fights, basically the entire battle system, the back end is coded, it's just making it work on the front end. So we've got fights, we've got viewing your inventory and using items in your inventory, and that's it. And then I'm happy to release it, I'm happy with where it's at. That's a, it's very, very minimal. You, you walk around, you fight a fire, you enter the fire, you kill the monster, you get some loot, you can equip that loot, you move on to the next fire. I reckon, because I have to leave at four today, because I do football at 4.30 on a Friday, I reckon I can get that done in the next four hours. If not, <laughs> I have to delay the alpha further, and the number of times this game has been delayed, it's like people probably expect it to be delayed now, and I've been drumming up hype on Instagram, this is releasing today. So it's releasing today. It's releasing today, I'm getting it done in the next four hours. I'm gonna stop talking to a camera, and I'm gonna release it. And hopefully soon, you'll see this guy in battle.